the Dandy Saddle Valet. Step-by-step -step installation instructions. Before you begin installation, the tools you will need are a drill, a 3 8 inch drill bit, a 3 8 inch nut driver or socket, wire crimpers, a 4 inch C-clamp, a hammer, and a small step stool is helpful. Items you will need to purchase are number 10 multi-strand wire and two ring terminal connectors for the number 10 wire. Measure the length of your trailer from back to front and add an extra 10 feet for the length of wire you will need. Optional are zip ties or wire hangers for holding the wire under the trailer from front to back. First, put the saddle valet in the tack room of your trailer to check the height and position where you want it. It may be necessary to cut a 4 inch square out of the floor mat to mount it at the bottom. Align the saddle valet into position. Rotate the unit so it is out at a 90 degree angle and tight against the door frame. Using the C-clamp, clamp the top bracket of the saddle valet to the door header. You want this bottom edge to rest against the door frame at a 90 degree angle. That's going to give you position of your unit. One thing you want to take into consideration is your door. This particular trailer, the door rests inside of the door frame, so we had to actually back the unit up a little bit in order to give room for the door. Normally, you can put them right on the door frame if your door closes flush with your trailer. Pre-drill the holes for the four screws in the top bracket. Attach the ground wire to one of the screws as you attach them with the nut driver. Remove the C-clamp. Measure the distance from the door frame to the top of the saddle valet. Align the bottom the same distance as the top and drill the holes for the bottom bracket. Insert the bolts through the floor. Have a second person under the trailer secure the nuts as the other person tightens the bolts from the top with a ratchet. Now we are ready to run the multi-strand wire under the trailer from back to front, fishing it over axles and floor braces where you can. Use wire holders or zip ties where necessary to secure the wire under the trailer all the way to the front. Leave enough wire at the back to fish up through the floor to connect to the bottom wire of the saddle valet. At the front of the trailer, fish the wire up to and into the battery box securing it through existing holes, or use zip ties to connect to other wires. Cut the wire at the needed length to reach the battery. Strip the plastic back on the wire to expose enough wire to connect to the ring terminal connector and crimp it on. Do the same with the fuse and wire that came with the Dandy Saddle Valet. Strip the wire at the end and crimp on the second ring terminal connector. Before connecting to the battery, go to the back of the trailer and connect the back end of the wire to the saddle valet. Cut the number 10 wire to the desired length. Strip the plastic off the end to expose the wire and connect it to the wire at the bottom of the saddle valet using the supplied wire nut. Now, go back to the front of the trailer and connect the front of the number 10 wire to the supplied fuse and tighten the nut. Now, connect the red wire on the fuse to the positive battery terminal and secure it with zip ties. You will now have power to your saddle valet. Rotate the saddle valet all the way out of the tack room. Using the toggle switch, lower the unit enough to easily attach the saddle rack bars. To lower it, you push and hold the toggle until the unit hits the ground. It's important to stop as soon as it hits the ground because there's extra cable in there and you don't want that to keep going so it wraps back on itself. So on the way down, you do need to stop it.
On the way up, there is a limit switch at the top. It's going to stop automatically. Just make sure you keep your hands out of this pinch area. Push and hold. Attach the saddle racks at the desired positions on your saddle valet. Generally, we start with the bottom saddle rack, measuring 18 inches up on the bar. Secure the saddle rack bar to the upright with a C-clamp. Pre-drill the four holes, then attach with the self-threading screws that are supplied. Now add the other three saddle rack bars at the desired positions. Now you can add your saddle racks from your old rack to the bars, build or purchase racks such as the molded saddle boss. Now raise the unit all the way up and close it into the tack room to decide where to put the floor plates. So you want to close your unit turning so that it goes inside and you, this is where you're going to decide where to put your floor plate. You want to make sure your door can close and not hit the housing on your motor. Once you've established where the plate goes, you're going to put it on the floor and using the screws that were provided, bolt it to your floor. You do not have to remove the pad here. The screws are long enough. You also want to, once this is bolted down, take a drill bit and clean out the pad so the plunger can go down into the pad. Then your next step is once this is in place, there is this piece of angle iron that has been supplied as well. You're going to find the location of it for your saddles to swing where you want to lock them in place. So this may need to come over this way more depending on how this swings. Once you find where you want it, you're going to bolt this to um, the bottom post here. And that keeps it from moving as you're traveling. Your dandy saddle ballet is now ready to use.